In this video, I'll show you how to find the standard error of the mean. I want to start off with a quick explanation of the difference between standard error and standard deviation. The standard error of the sample mean, where sample mean is represented by this x bar, is an estimate of how far the sample mean is likely to be from the whole population mean represented by this Greek letter mu, whereas the standard deviation of the sample is the degree to which individuals within the sample differ from the sample mean. So there's a big difference between standard error and standard deviation. The question reads, the heights of 64 randomly chosen students at a tech college were measured. So the sample mean here is 64. The sample mean, x bar, has found to be 68.25 inches, and the standard deviation represented by the letter s was 2.21 inches. Estimate the total population mean, mu, of the entire population of students at Tech College. To do this, we'll start off by using the following formula, where we have standard error is approximately equal to the sample standard deviation over the square root of the number of observations, and this will give us our standard error. The difference between this symbol and this symbol both signify standard deviation, except this symbol signifies standard deviation for the whole population whereas this represents the standard deviation for the sample 64. Because this is not usually known, we have to use S, which will still give us a good measure of the standard error. That being said, we will substitute 2.21 divided by the square root of 64. Using the calculator, 2.21 divided by the square root of 64 gives us 0 0.27625. 0 0.27625. And I'll simply round this to two decimal places because we have three significant digits here and two here. So this becomes 0 0.28. Now to use this to find the average population represented by mu, I'll use the following formula where mu at 68% confidence is x bar plus minus 1 times the standard error that we just found. This will predict that there is a 68% chance that mu, the average mean, will fall within this particular range. Let me show you what I mean. So we just found the standard error and we know the average of the sample is 68.25. 68.25 plus 0 0.28 times 1 and 68.25 minus 0 0.28. You always multiply the standard error by 1 if you're looking for the 68% confidence. In question B, I'll show you what to do with the 95% confidence. So using my calculator, 68.25 plus 0.28, this gives me 68.53. And similarly, 68.25 minus 0.28 gives me 67.97. In other words, the true mean has a 68% chance of falling within the intervals 67.97 and 68.53. And that is, of course, with 68% confidence. Let's move on to question B. In question B, they ask us to find the 95% confidence interval. Now, the only difference between this and what we just did is that we have to multiply the standard error that we found in A by 2. And this will give us an idea of where the population mean is with a 95% confidence rating. So I'll take mu of 95% is equal to 68.25 plus minus... 2 times 0 0.28. Using my calculator, I have 68.25 plus 2 times 0.28. This gives me 68.81. That's going to be the upper range limit, and the lower range limit will be this minus, which is 67.69. So there's a 95% chance that the mean will fall within this range. And there you have it. That is how to find the standard error of the mean.